perfect. That's exactly it. Your introduction is a hook. That means attention grabbing. It's like really fishing. So you want to grab attention, hook your audience, have their full attention so they stay with you. So either you make it or break it. You lost them from the first moment, yeah? You want to leave this lasting uh, impression when they see you, they're like, wow, you know, I wanna to listen to this guy or to that lady. She has something to say, I'm impressed. So the hook part and the second one is actually telling the audience what you're about to tell them. There is an approach that's not a TED approach, but I, I'd love to share it with you guys. It's a really nice way of looking at your presentation segments. So Churchill was one of the most structured presenters. Kulen of Naraf Churchill, do we all know Churchill? World War II, yeah, rings a bell, UK, very important guy. Okay, so I'm not gonna get into the history now, but anyways, Churchill. So tell them what you're gonna tell them, then tell them, and then tell them again what you've just told them. So give them the goal, give them the cab, What's the cab? Cab, give them the cab ride. C4? Credi Com? Credibility. Com. I love you, Asma. Wallahi. So compelling audience. <laughs> Not only because you know cab, I love you in general. <laughs> so compelling audience benefit. So you need to here show them why this is important for them. The what's in it for me factor. So that's super important. So that's part of your hook as well. Oh, I want to listen because these are my benefits here. So focus in your introduction on the cab. Focus on how to hook and start uh, leaving an impression, a big impression about you. And also super important here to make people understand what are the objectives and the goal of the presentation. So what's their takeaway after you're done? What are they leaving with? Okay, so that's the function of an introduction. Now, my question, another question, what are the components of the introduction? We know the function now. So how do you start? Let's assume you don't know the audience. Yes, Hassan. So the content here, we want to use the same terminology that I've been kind of feeding you over the past couple of days. So you want to give them your what? The line. The through line. Yes. What's your through line, which is the topic? Yeah. And what else? That's the through line and it branches into? Keywords. You want the three key ideas. So here's what I'm going to be talking about today. Idea one, idea two, idea three. The more you take your audience by the hand, the more they open up to you. If they're sitting there and they have no clue what's going on, you lose them. Remember again how our brain works. We don't want cognitive backlog. We don't want anxiety. Okay? So that's part of it, about the content and their benefit and why should they listen to you, da da da. All right, what else comes in an introduction? What if this is the first time you meet people, those people? It's not your regular monthly meeting or whatever it is. It's a new client. It's a sales pitch, whatever. New client. Nice. <clears throat> Abdullah? Break the eyes, but before breaking the eyes, you need to do what? Introduce yourself, right? Who are you? Why should I listen to you? Remember how I made my introduction? Yeah? So introduce yourself. I am so-and-so, okay? Your position, because here you want to establish the ethos, the credibility. Why are you a subject matter expert here? That's my position, da-da-da, and you might as well tell a story about yourself. Maybe. It depends, yeah? So, self-introduction is part of it. Anything else? Would you mention the time of your, or the duration, to be exact, of your presentation? Normally, yeah, the yes. Yeah, the, the That's good practice. 
So I'm gonna be talking about da 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 for the coming 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes. Set expectations. The more you tell people what they're about to go through in terms of their experience, the more open and relaxed they are. Yeah? So always remember, set expectations. As Ahmed said, that was a great point, Ahmed. Thank you. Okay? Are we cool about what comes in the introduction? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to be sharing a few slides here to elaborate a little bit more on introduction. And I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to make it animated and emotionally charged to create pathos into your introduction, because that will be your hook, right? So I will share with you around six or seven tips and tricks. And these are also in your workbook. So if you want to take notes, of 